Hi, I'm Anjali. Um, I'm with Creates of Green and welcome to Phase 4 of the Waste Campaign. I'm so excited to be here with Nancy, the Associate Director of Policy and Outreach, correct? Mm -hmm. um, at Heal the Bay. Um, and during this phase, Phase 4, your team will be put your solution or your pitch into action and you'll record the results of your campaign solution and compare these results with that original SMART goal you set back in Phase 2. Um, by recording your impacts and comparing them with your original goal, you can create a new baseline for future teams to build off of to continue your hard work. So that way your campaign can continue um, over the summer or into next school year as well. So we're so excited. Nancy can really help a lot with this phase. Um, she's been with Heal the Bay for eight, is it eight Almost, years yeah. now? Almost eight years now. So she's had a lot of experience um, with what you guys are working on in phase four. So Nancy, can you tell us a little bit about your background with Heal the Bay and your interest in reducing single use plastics? Sure. Yeah, I've been, as we mentioned, at Hill Bay for nearly eight years now, and I started um, as the volunteer coordinator. So, worn a lot of hats along the way, had a lot of different roles, working on a lot of great progressive issues, but the one that always brought me back in was the plastic bag campaign. Mm. Uh, so that's actually what drove me to Heal the Bay uh, with that, that desire to really clean up our act, particularly when it comes to water. You know, nothing that we use for mere minutes should end up in our environment for hundreds of years. So that was the big motivator for me. So that's great. I mean, we obviously agree with you as our campaign is focused on reducing single-use plastics and we have several campaign teams this semester that are specifically working on plastic bags. So awesome. hopefully, um, <laughs> yeah, that'll appeal to you and we'll make some changes that you'll like. Um, so also in this phase, teams will take action by delivering their pitch to their chosen audience. Why is connecting with their specific audience important? And how have you gotten people to be passionate about something that you believe in? Your message, it can change depending on who you're talking to, so identifying who that audience is is incredibly important. But I would say connecting with your audience is possibly the most important. You know, with a strong science background myself, I'm driven by stats, you know, and, and really important figures and things. But when you speak to people, they don't remember the stats you told them they remember the way you made them feel. Mm, I and love so, that. Yeah, that's kind of the keys to the kingdom in, in the way I see it. And so for me, it's connecting with people about a shared value. So our natural environment, our water resources, and then motivating them and inspiring them to take action then, to take action now when we're speaking or yeah. when they go home. You know? So kind of a follow-up question with that, like a lot of our students are talking to their school board or their principal. So what if those, their audience that they've chosen doesn't have that strong connection to the environment and they don't have that same passion that those students have? Can you kind of talk about maybe other ways that they can connect with them? I would say using, you know, finding some sort of common thread. So, so mm -hmm. if you're talking to a school board, maybe the finances of making a big change away from plastics is kind of scary. Yeah. So crunching those numbers ahead of time and being able to show them like, look, we've, we've done an evaluation and we show, you know, maybe it's a penny more if we make this difference, if we make this change. Yeah. Also, if we make this change, people use less. And so therefore that's less cost, you know, on you. So really just knowing what might matter to them, connecting yeah. on something, but also knowing what's their values. So to frame your argument in a way that will, will drive them to take action. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I feel like if there's kind of the bottom line that everyone is interested in, it's the finances, right? The return on investment or how much, how much is this going to cost me? How much is it going to save me? So I think that's great. Absolutely. If, you know, hopefully everybody does have that environmental passion around it, but that sounds like a great way to connect with any audience. So after that, students will record their results and their achieved solution. Can you tell us some ways that our teams can re record their results? Metrics are so incredibly important when it comes to campaign work. Um, I can give some solid examples that Heal the Bay uses okay. very frequently. Uh, so through our outreach programs in our main office, we reach over 35,000 people annually. Wow. That's really, really important, especially if we're talking about you know, getting funding, uh, things things like that. But it also is really effective when it comes to policy work. So mm -hmm. when we talk about, you know, our over the last 15 years, our cleanup volunteers picked up over 100,000 straws and stirs. 
that was a huge motivator for the city of LA to go, you know what, we want to do straws on the bus. Like, for example, our plastic petition, we have a huge plastic petition, over 425,000 people have signed on to reduce single-use plastics in the state of California. Mm -hmm. uh, so these figures, they help support what you're trying to achieve, and they also help to push that policy forward. So whether it's number of presentations or petition signatures mm -hmm. gathered or weight of trash collected on the beach, types of trash that you're finding, uh, I think that's a really big one for us. We have a marine debris database that we use all the time that we've been collecting data since like 1990. Oh wow! So we can that's really cool. show these trends or show that hey, after the plastic bag, you know, ban went into place, we've seen less plastic bags on the beach. Yeah. Like this works. Uh, so it's really important, both I think building up to making your cause, but also retroactively looking back and saying this was effective. And here's why. Yeah. Here's the numbers to prove. That's very cool. So it sounds like. You at Heal the Bay, you guys have had several projects where you've proven that the metrics really come into play. Um, by collecting metrics, you've actually gotten policies pushed through and pushed forward. And by collecting metrics, you've been able to show that if a solution that you guys proposed worked. So as you know, completing a project did not, does not necessarily mean that the work is done. You guys obviously know that at Heal the Bay. The work's never done. <laughs> so what advice do you have for um, our campaign teams and students that want to continue their project for years to come? And how has Heal the Bay kept the community engaged in action? Yeah, I think it's really important that we remain diligent mm -hmm. because even if a project is completed, uh, you know, there can still be work done to support a greater campaign, a greater movement. Uh, so there's always things we can be doing to, to chip away. Things that we do to keep community engaged, we have community events like big beach cleanups, right. but also attending fairs, you know, going, having educational moments with mm -hmm. folks, coming to them. Um, but also keeping them posted, you know, sending out an action alert to let them know, mm -hmm. okay, now's the time to get back in the game because this critical moment just happened and we need your help. Following something through is incredibly important. For example, Measure W in Los Angeles in 2018. Yeah. Voters approved Measure W is amazing. We got $300 million annually secured. LA said, let's tax ourselves so that we can clean up our act when it comes to stormwater. Yeah. But that was just the start. Right. Getting that victory of that measure passed. Then it became tracking the ordinance and making sure it had all the things that we thought were really important in it. And now it's tracking the projects that are submitted mm -hmm. and making sure that we're holding these governing bodies accountable to what the voters had intended in the first place. That's great. Yeah, keeping um, the audience engaged and moving towards more audiences and elaborating on the project. It really sounds like you guys have you know, had a lot of success in that and it continues to grow. So that's great. Yeah. Are there any last general tips that you would like to share with our campaign teams in regards to action, tracking metrics and measuring their impact? Yeah, I would just say, I know sometimes tracking metrics can be boring or it seems like, why is that important? Do I right. have to do that work? Mm -hmm. But as we discussed, it really can make mountains move. Yeah. They really, really are important. So I would say push past it, um, know that what you're doing is important and, and keep fighting the good fight. Yeah. And I think like, you know how you said about metrics, um, it can get boring, but I think you can turn it into something a little more fun and a little more appealing. Like, you know, comparing it to something that people might really get um, a feel for and get a, vi a good visual. So instead of saying like, you know, I'm trying to think of a good example, like a metric ton of trash. It's like, well, we're making enough uh, trash to build Dodger Stadium in a year. Right. Something like that, where it's this solid visual that people can really understand. Yeah, that like conversion to. calculating is, is really important. And yeah. we do it all the time. Our comms director was all about it. You know, yeah. it was like, okay, if we got 30 tons of trash, is that two T-Rexes worth? Yeah. You know, how do you what make it exciting? How many elephants fun? is that? Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I love that. Well, is there any other final thoughts that you'd like to share? Um, I just want to say thank you all for your work. You know, this plastics issue, it's ubiquitous, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, so it truly needs a global effort to make this happen. So, so keep it up. Thank you. And thank you so much for taking the time to share your tips with our campaign teams. Um, and for the campaign team students, if you have any questions, feel free to um, email your Grades of Green advisor or send them a message. Um, and we can't wait to see all of their results this semester. And we hope to share those with you yeah, as well. Look forward to it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Too.